and welcome back to another deck profile. I haven't done one in a while, so it's uh, kind of nice to get back into the swing of things. Now, I have expressed a desire to build a Bofuri deck. This isn't a Digimon deck, I swear. Either way, I have expressed a desire to build a Bofuri deck when it comes to English, and here it is. Now, a, a small word about this deck. This is a yellow, blue, plus two soul book deck. And what that means is that the level one combo is the plus two soul beatdown, and the finisher is the restander. Now, I know what you big brain players are thinking. Why? Well, the main reason is because I wanted to build this deck as budget as possible. What is the cheapest deck that can still hold up on its own? And well, this popped up. And now the question is, what did I pay for this deck? And well, drum roll please. Oh no, that sounds awful. $70, yeah, $70, and hey, believe me, that is budget in Y Shores. There are a lot of cards that are not added in this deck because, again, I wanted to go budget, and I'll explain those cards at the end of the video. Either way, this deck is perfect because I have been meaning to build a plus two soul deck, and it was either this, Summer Pockets, or GGO, which I do want to build the GGO deck eventually. But as friend of the channel, Stock Swap Games once said, only the newest and hottest things on this channel. And without further ado, let's get started. First off, we are starting with three of the Conqueror UEs from the Trial deck. On play, you give a character one key five for the turn, and she can target herself. Uh, pretty self-explanatory, gives a buff to all your characters, and it is helpful because uh, the level one combos do not gain power. And this is a uh, nice just-in-case for some guaranteed reverses. I run one Swimsuit May. This states that uh, on play from hand, ditch two game characters. Top check two cards from the top of your deck, add one card to your hand, and stock the rest. So you could add one card, stock one, you could add no cards and stock both. It is a pretty decent hand fixing, and I'm mainly running it because the level twos and the level threes can be very stock heavy. And believe me, this deck generates stock like it's no business. And I just run one because uh, the ditching can be a bit of a miss. You kind of will be negging in hand size and, and you kind of need your hand size in the later game, so I only run one. Here is four of the twin younger sister Yui. She's a 3k power, can't side attack, and on play, pay one climax swap. Pretty self-explanatory. You know, this deck is uh, pretty easy to understand. Use it to swap out your climax, especially one of the climaxes is not going to plus you when you trigger it. As a matter of fact, uh, you will potentially lose because of overswinging, but that's uh, that's the story for a later time. But yeah, Climax Swapper, uh, I do run 4 because I mainly wanted to keep it uh, like Yui Mei centered because those cards were the cheapest, but also, you know, I kind of like the characters as well, so I do run this at 4. 4 moments between the two maples gains 4 key power during your opponent's turn and act, pay 1, send this to the waiting room, top check 4, add a game character, you ditch the rest. Very nice while during your opponent's turn and some just uh, good utility overall. Here's a brainstormer of a deck, newbie players Mei and Yui. When you trigger a climax, you give a character 1k power and you pay 1, tap self, top check 3, add a card, brainstormer. So if you hit 2 climaxes, you are performing the top check 3, add a card twice. So top check 3, add 1, top check 3, add 1. And yeah, this is pretty good. Uh, more mills, grab climaxes as well because it's add a card, so very, very nice. And that rounds up the level zeros, and as you could possibly tell, there's a lot of mill power in this deck, which is pretty damn good, and you will be cycling through your deck fairly quickly. And off to the level ones, I run two split 1k backups. Here are two unbalanced maples, and when you play a climax, you can pay one, top check four, choose a level one or higher character, add it to hand, and then you ditch the rest and act. Rest this card. Memory shoot an opponent's character, and then you place it back into the field. I think we agree to call that blink which i love blink 182 so i'm guess i'm okay with that so this card pretty good especially since you are almost guaranteed to have a sort of plus because again the climax combo can be a bit gambly so it is kind of nice that uh this is almost guaranteeing that you're gonna plus in some aspect even though you know you do have to pay one but uh we'll get to that level one combo we have three Shield and Buckler, Maple and Sally. On play from hand, you can ditch a card, choose one of your opponent's level one or higher characters, and you swap them with a character that is one level lower than the card chosen from the waiting room. What the hell does that even mean? In a sense, it is an anti-early drop card, but it's any level one or higher. The issue is that it has to be specifically one level lower than the card targeted. So if you target a level 3, your opponent chooses a level 2. If you target a level 2, your, your opponent has to choose a level 1. 
Kind of like that. Also, you don't get to choose, your opponent does. So they could totally just toss like a bomb or something on the field. Either way, this is pretty good, especially since, you know, we're living in a uh, standby slash data live meta. So this card is kind of needed. So here is the level one climax combo. Battle ready force May and Yui. And I do run four of the Yui's and four of the Mei's. And the climax is a plus two soul and two soul when triggered. So what these do is that they gain 500 power for each character during your turn. And the Mei's, which is this one right here, is climax combo once per turn when damage is canceled if you have destroyer in play which is the this one over here the plus two soul and two soul when triggered you choose a game character in your waiting room stock it top check your deck and if it is a game character you add it to hand so that is what this does it's on cancel you stock charge and you top check your deck and add if it's a game character and the yui states that when your opponent levels up and you have this in your center stage you perform the same effect so the conditions of the cards are different but they are the same and the thing with the yui we got to remember is that this needs to be in the front row so ideally you would want to have two of these and one of these because this well, this is a whole lot easier, but if your opponent is closer to leveling up, uh, again, you are going to have to gauge it depending on the situation, having two of these and having one of these, because the important thing about this is that it triggers regardless of situation. So if your opponent deck refreshes and they level up, you still get the effect off. And unless you are a god, you are only going to be propping these effects off once. But then again, it is plus two soul. You can't probably rush your opponent up two levels. Now, going off on the Yui, um, I would really like if the effect would activate in the back row. I think that would be really, really nice. But uh, having it in the in the front row, it is a restriction, but it's still, it's still easy to prop off. I have done it a couple times when I was playtesting this deck. And like I mentioned, these combos are very dependent on opponent interaction. Remember kids, good climax combos want to minimize player interaction as much as possible. For example, on attack, U+. Plus. Uh, that, is, that is perfect. That's mwah. These you have to level up or cancel, which you are using plus to soul. So there's still a pretty good chance that you're going to be canceling with the maids or leveling up with the Yui's. But if anything, you're probably going to be using this one a lot more. But here is a suggestion. You side attack with your characters because that's a lot of damage. You're doing three plus whatever you trigger. And yes, I have almost lost to over swinging. You can be cheeky and swing forward, but there's a higher chance of canceling. But hey, if you cancel, you know, there's no downside, baby. You could plus. Now, if you really, really, really need the space, because again, this is not like the, the definitive list. If anything, you could probably go check out the Clock Towers video. Yeah, I don't even know why you're watching this, honestly. Uh, these Yui, you could probably cut these out. Uh, cut them down maybe to like three or two. Because uh, again, the, the maze are the ones that you're going to be using the most. And just to reiterate, this card does not need to level your opponent up. Remember that. Don't forget like me in my matches. This card does not need to level up your opponent. You could attack with your uh, maze and level up your opponent. As long as this is in the front row with the climax, you're going to plus. Remember that. Don't be like me. Off to the level 2s, I run one of the mill backups. 3 key power when you use the backup, your opponent mills the bottom of their deck equal to the amount of game characters that you have. It is fairly good, you can't force your opponent into a deck refresh, giving you a, uh, a point of damage. And you can set yourself up for next turn for some big smacks. Yeah, pretty good. I run two supportive rolls is she is a level assist 500 forward and you can pay to rest this card you salvage a character i have this for the level assist mainly and as a just in case because uh my level threes are kind of weak not gonna lie this deck does generate stock like it's no one's business so stock really isn't an issue so if i do need to salvage a character i do have that option off to the level threes again this is budget. Oceanic Coat Sally gains 500 power for each character in the backstage and at the start of your opponent's attack phase. If this is in the center stage, you give an opponent's character plus four soul and that card cannot side attack. So your opponent is over swinging so you can cancel. So if everything worked out, your stock will be clean and your deck will be primed for canceling in a perfect world. Then again, you can't just, you know, take six to the face. You are also forcing your opponent to attack forward. So, 
Oh my god, I really do hope it cancels. That's like the one thing that uh, I'm very iffy about running these like high plus, like high soul cards is that, oh my god, what if they, what if I don't cancel? But then again, as we've learned, uh, compression is a lie. Don't believe what people say. There is no such thing as compression in Y Shores. Here is the Climax combo. Marble, Muffler, Sally is on play heal and on attack. If you have another character, this gains 1k5 power. And at the end of this card's attack, if you have Path to the second level in play, you can pay 2, ditch 2, restand. And the Climax is a 1k1 and an Arch when triggered. It is a very, very nice combo and I really do like it. It does gain power on attack, which does kind of suck in the defense aspect, but you know, it is a healer as well. On top of that, the restand effect is very easy to pull off because this is not an on reverse restander. It's like, it's just at the end of its attack, act, pay the cost, restand it. You could crash it into something and still restand, which is really, really good. Again, kind of stock and hand heavy, but you do have a lot of cards that help you gather resources. Oh, I probably should have mentioned, this is from the trial deck. This is actually really, really solid for a trial deck card. And there we have the deck profile. So what is not in this deck? Um, ideally, you would want to run the blue 3-2 maples. I think that would be a better... Uh, option uh power wise as opposed to the sally the sally is still pretty damn good but you know that maple is a whole lot better um you would obviously want to run the three two uh musashi the cancel burns of uh, may and yui but those are currently you know six bucks and you know this is the most expensive card which is five dollars so uh we're good there you also want these td maples as well um you might want to run this blue frederica well, you know, that would be pretty nice too. As well as the early drops, but hey, you know what? Again, this is budget. If you want to see a not budget, fully optimal build of this, go check out the Clock Towers video. There's Their deck is a, honestly a whole lot better than this. There are a lot of great cards in Bufuri, and honestly, I am pretty glad that this came to English. And even though this is still a budget deck, this holds up. This holds up. This deck is a blast to play. You generate stock and you swing big. I did miss timing. Is that, is that the word? I'm almost certain that's a word. A couple of times because I forgot about the UE climax combo effects was on level. And again, do not be like me. Remember, it's on level regardless. And with that, thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more Y Shorts news and content. And I will see you all in the next one.